Hello and welcome to another edition of Rory on Air. This time I'm going to experience aerobatics for the first time. You've seen me fly with Adrian before in the Eurostar, but this is also my first flight in a Vans aircraft. Golf Delta Victor Mike India is an RV7 based at Barton Airfield and jointly owned by a number of shareholders, Adrian being the newest of their pilots. Today we're off to the beach at Southport to see how I react to being rolled upside down. I really hope you'll enjoy this video. We both pull some pretty strange faces at times, but the big question is, of course, will the sick bag be required? Golf to the Golf Department Circuit to the Northwest. Golf to the Golf, Roger. Basic service. Basic service, Golf to the Golf. There's Danny there, just give him a run for his bag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no <sense. laughs> Negative goes right at the bend of the pole. Left him in the dust. <laughs> Absolutely blasting on at 100. Brilliant feet, feet not. Alright, do you want to go? Yeah, that'd be great. You might have to cure for you 1017. And it's similar to a Eurostar where the, the nose slows down quite a bit. Yeah. Go point echo left, 2 vk taxi bar with 2. It doesn't suffer from that much adverse yaw either, so... Yeah, I was just getting a feel for the rudder. Don't need a lot of rudder. Yeah. See, it's just a big Eurostar, really. Yeah. Okay, you can cross there at two... Lovely. Do you want to head over that way? Yep. Just amazingly quick. Amazing how much ground we cover. <laughs> I feel the need, the need for speed. What do you think of the RV, then? Well, it's lovely. It's incredibly quick. Uh, the views are excellent. And uh, considering the fact that we couldn't see very much last time we tried to do this, this is a considerable improvement. A <laughs> um, sort of like nervous trepidation at the idea of being flipped upside down, but I'm well yeah. excited. Yeah, we'll, we'll, um, we'll build you up to it. So yeah. we'll, we'll start off with like a barrel roll or something like that, nice positive. And then. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Yeah, OK, cool. Just from being a passenger as well, it's not so bad if you know what you're doing. Yeah. You can anticipate it. Yeah. So what do you use as a visual reference then when you're doing these? Do you line up with the beach or something? So oh, yeah, I mean, the beach is perfect. Up and down the beach gives you a nice reference. Yeah. Right, should we start? Let's do it. Do you have control? So, I think good airframe. Mixed full rate to put the fuel on your twenty fuel. You nice and secure, nice and tight, yeah. No boost items. Uh SC these are all good. Do a couple of turns to make sure these run about. Rory on air's first ever go at arrows. Let's see how this pans out folks. Uh, should we start with the barrel roll? Yep. Just imagine we're on our way back from a Battle of Britain victory. So, pull it all up, roll it around. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> the rolling is quite fine, but it's the G on the way in and out of there. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, loop. Fancy a loop. Yep, let's try that. So you speed up with a bit of descent on the way into it. Yeah, so around 140 knots and then pull back. Just get out the wing set. <laughs> Over the top. Whee! <laughs> that is something different, that. That was really cool. Right, so, just on the roof, barrel roll. So, uh, half Cuban, okay. sort of like three quarters of the loop, yep. 45 down line, hold that and then roll up right, okay. Absolutely mad. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> God damn it, Maverick! 
<laughs> the stuff started floating around the track. Oh, that was really cool. So we can do what's called a Humpty Bump, yeah. So that's a vertical up, yeah. Little tiny loop at the top and then a vertical down, okay. Feeling brave. <laughs> Is this your idea of fun, Mav? <laughs> I say so weird, they point straight at the ground and stop thinking I'm gonna die. <laughs> now, I'll turn us round to the face. Amazing. Get a bit of height back. Yeah. And then do you want to go to the old stall turn? Oh, stall turn. Yeah. <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pound. <laughs> so cool. He's going vertical, so am I. <laughs> That's quite a lot of rudder in there, isn't it? Yeah, so when you're going up, you need four and more right rudder to keep straight, yeah. and then near enough full right rudder by the time you're near enough stop, and yeah. then full left to swing it around. And that tone that we're hearing at the stall ward. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. How much time did you have to do these before you got the hang of it? Um, I picked up the manoeuvres quite quick. Yeah. It's refining them that takes a bit of time. Right. Golf Romeo Zulu from fourth. And base to eight. Well done, Golf Romeo Zulu. Sonic Hotel sending final to Lance to Let me think, what else can we do? Let's do another barrel roll and do a thumb I'll do a thumbs up to the camera when we're upside down. Alright, here it is. Yep. Awesome. Um, right, so we did the half tube, you can do a reverse half tube, which is 45 up. Yeah. Full inverted. Yeah. And then full through. Okay. We'll have a go at that. Yeah, yeah. It's sort of height. Height. It does challenge your stomach though, I've got to say. <laughs> I feel okay, but I don't know how much more of that I can handle. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be honest. Would you, do you want to have a fly around for a bit? Yeah, okay. Alright, it's all yours. Tokyo Tango number two. Just a completely different sensation. That is very cool though. <laughs> You're wanking it about like a pro. <laughs> <laughs> No unlimited to six if it needs a bank in there. <laughs> well, that is an amazing experience. <laughs> do some low flying down the beach if you want. Them. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do that. Oh, stick the nose down. Just watch the speed. One of the bad things about 
aircraft in regard to learning arrows in it. Picked up speed rapidly. Right. We're not going to annoy Wood Vale here, are we? I turned 2180, not too close. I don't know whether they're doing much flying today. This is a car and some people there. Yeah, we're all here a bit though. It still does, it feels like you're going quite quick, but it's not amazingly quick, yeah. is it? Considering we're doing 135 knots. Yeah, yeah. 40 odd mile an hour. Yeah. Amazing. Fabulous. That's been a bloody lovely day, isn't it? No, it is an nice day. Fantastic, what an experience. Good fun, isn't it? Really good fun. I guess the more that you do it, the more that your body would get used to the sensations being different. Yeah, when you first do them, it's just sort of, you've got no idea which way's up, really. Yeah, yeah. And I would imagine that it's simply to improve your pick and rudder skills even more than you had already by having to yeah, you know, be so precise on it, because I, I guess the stakes are a lot higher. You know, if you make a mistake and you get that wrong, yeah. when you're like that or pointing directly at the ground, it's going to run away with you very quickly. Yeah. What What is the highest risk of these manoeuvres? Like, what's the most dodgy position in that? Um, well, I mean, there's a few things that you can fuck up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the worst thing you can do is put it into a spin. Yeah. I mean, these aren't actually cleared to spin it. Right. But it will come out of the spin. Yeah. But for a spin, you need to start. You need a lot of yaw yeah. and a high angle of attack. So, so right at the top of the saw turn, you've got a yaw. Yeah. But as long as you don't do anything stupid with the stick, like pull it back or stick it forward, yeah, yeah, yeah. you shoved it forward at that point, straight into an inverted spin. Yeah. Yeah, which would be very bright. Uh, well, quite a different video from Adrian and I padding around the surface <laughs> the Euro start. We'll be making a bollock for the landing. Next thing we know, we're flipping it upside down. Oh, I forgot to do the bird. <laughs> Never mind. Keeping up international relations. And uh, no place like home, is there? Joining from the northwest and re traffic recently left the ATZ towards the north. Just go there, Golf Charlie Bravo 26 left, take off your discretion, 17 is probably bearable for three knots. Taking off from a 26 left, Golf Charlie Bravo. Mike India report, final. Well, Golf, Mike India. Not much luck, are you? I know, yeah. It's really busy when you want to see. Oh, you got three points. Don't think this. Tell the viewers now what. Exactly. Stop back India, final full stop. Stop back India, runway 26, left, land your discretion, 200 degrees, 2 knots. Stop back India. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that. I must admit, it did make me feel slightly delicate for a moment or two. But Adrian explaining what to expect before each manoeuvre and then letting me fly around after we completed the aero sortie both helped to manage the G-forced induced nausea. He says it's something you can quickly get used to if you do it regularly as well, something I can see me doing again because it's really, really good fun. After our trip, Adrian told me that we'd registered 5.5G at one point, probably only for a split second, but nonetheless, a lot more than I'll ever experience in a microlite. Absolutely fantastic fun. The runway bumping. That first touch was perfect. And then we had the big bump. Hotel Alpha, Roger, report. Uh, I had the same thing. To be fair, it was a bit quick and there's not a wind. Right. Yeah, the wind totally dropped away completely. Thank you very much indeed. I really enjoyed that. Really good no fun. Totally new experience. I'm sure it'll make a good video, so winners, dinners. <laughs> Thanks to Adrian for sharing his new skills and to you, of course, for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Cheerio. Nicely Ooh. done. Excellent work. <laughs>